guys. Um, so it's Saturday. It's the last Saturday before the um, before official marathon training starts on Monday. And um, today was supposed to be my last long run before training starts. I was supposed to do seven miles, but my legs are heavy and dead. I couldn't. I just did a 3.1 and I walked a lot of that. It was terrible. Like, I wanted to get up and go at like 7 o'clock this morning, which meant I would have had to get up at 6 to, um, at 6 to, um, like fuel and get in those simple carbs or whatever, but. I didn't even do that. I got up at like 9.30. Um, today was rough. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, and I think for me, seven miles is mental. Like, even though I did 10 a couple weeks ago, I did six a week before that. I don't know. Today, in my head, I felt like I couldn't do it. I don't know. But my legs were heavy. My legs were dead. Um, tomorrow... I was going to do yoga tonight, but I probably won't do anything else today. My, um, I don't know. I have another full rest day tomorrow, so I'm going to take advantage of that for sure. Hmm. So, today did not go as planned. I was hoping to go into marathon training, like, haven't done all those days i don't know maybe if i feel like it i'll go to the gym tonight and get in three more maybe if i feel like it like but i am disappointed that i didn't get that seven in today um but the goal the key is to be fresh for the start of marathon training on monday so monday we have three miles wednesday we have a speed track workout i might do that on the treadmill i don't know um and then Thursday I have three miles, and then I think on Saturday we're at six. But at least Saturday is a long run. I'll be running it with people, so I don't know if that made the difference today. But I think what happened was was um, Wednesday I did five miles because that what was on the um, that that was on the schedule for today as the pre-training training, and then. Thursday, I signed up for a progressive marathon, which was, so Thursday we had to run five and a quarter miles. I did that and that was hard. It hurt um, my left side, my shin felt like it was splinting. Everything was hard about that. But I had five miles on the um, schedule anyway, you know? So I would have had to do five either way. Um, but it's disappointing to, I don't know. Running, I think, is a lot mental. And so I even, like, played music because even before I left the house, I was like, what do I need to do to get through this? Like, I'm going to have to listen to some. I can't just run listening to myself. <laughs> I was like, so I had music. I had, maybe it wasn't upbeat enough. I don't know. But today was disappointing. If I have it in me, I'll go do three more tonight so that at least I can have completed seven for the day. I don't know. I don't know if I should just rest the rest of the day or and then do my full day off tomorrow. I don't know because I feel like I'm tired already <laughs> and we just started, but that's okay. Um, so I'll probably see y'all a little later in the day and I'll check in with y'all if I go to the gym for those last three miles. All right, see ya. Hey guys, it is Sunday. Y'all, I had to put Saturday behind me. I did not go back out to run last night. I just had to chalk it up to what it was. Um, and let me tell you, like, going into yesterday's run, I, I wasn't even feeling it when I, like, was going out. And that's probably one of the problems. Like, I shouldn't have pushed myself to do it. Then I could have even waited to today and like ran this morning or something, you know, but 
I had some good advice. Somebody gave me some good advice. They said, like, just because you didn't do the whole seven miles, like, there's, like, three miles or whatever that you didn't do, but still celebrate the three miles that you did do. Like, so it's not like I did nothing yesterday, so. But a lot of things happened yesterday where I shouldn't have even, like, you know. Because I wanted to get up and run in the morning. I wanted to get up and run at 7. And I kept hitting my snooze. Like, I didn't get up. I wanted to, like, get up, do my devotional, eat breakfast, and just kind of, like, ease into the day or whatever. But I, instead, I kept hitting snooze. I slept in. I still got up and I ate. And I feel like I ate right and hydrated and did all those things. But then I went out to run in the hottest part of the day it was like noon or something and also I wasn't dressed right I like looking at the weather it looked like it was going to be cold but I was like it, it looked like it was going to be like cooler outside than it was obviously because it's summertime or late spring in Chicago and it's a lot of humidity so the humidity makes it feel hotter than it is right so I had on a regular t-shirt instead of like a running shirt it was like a regular like t-shirt and then I had on leggings like full leggings instead of I usually run in like a running skirt or running shorts and I had on these compression socks these pro comp compression socks because my shin was kind of hurting and so I figured you know that might help a little so I was just too hot I just had too much stuff on and I was just too hot and like all those things together I think um and then trying to force myself out the door when I didn't really feel like doing it. I should have waited till last night, even if I had to go to the gym and just like run, like, I don't know, set my environment different, I think. You know, like, there are some other things I could have done to like make sure the environment was right for me to run. And I didn't do those things. I just wanted to kind of knock it out so I could say I did seven miles but that didn't work so anyway I that's done yesterday is done today is a full rest day tomorrow we start marathon training official day one so I do want to do like a video every week um, just talking about training um, how it's going if I can get some footage or whatever but tomorrow I only have to do three miles and it's just figuring out what part of the day. Obviously, I think my favorite time of the day to run is in the morning because then I can just get through the rest of my day and I'm not like anticipating it like all day. I think it's the best. Um, so we'll see. Um, anyway, tonight, it's Sunday, it's about 5 o'clock, and I'm on my way to work vacation Bible school at this church by my house. So that's that. That, is, that wrapped up my last pre-training training day, my last full rest day before heading into training tomorrow. So I look forward to it. And Saturday will be our first um, long run with the group. That's going to be exciting. I'm going to get to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. So that'll be exciting, and I don't know, that's that. So I will definitely see you guys next week. Probably um, upload a video at the end of next week, just talking about training and how it's going. And I will talk to y'all later.